Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in the universe. This is Commander Swifty, or Cyberpunk Swifty. Sorry, I've got background noise from my phone because I forgot to turn it down. Uh, live chat, I need to be on as well. Welcome in, Mike, by the way, first one of the night. And for the first time in a long time, I am streaming from my computer tonight. So, uh, I do need to change some of the properties on my audio stuff though, so just give me a sec. I had to reset everything as I haven't used it in so long. And uh, it was, yeah, why hasn't that worked? <laughs> Oh, it might be on here. Hang on a second. I haven't used um, the computer in forever, so I had a problem um, with my microphone. For whatever reason, the microphone wasn't working properly. So I hope that everything, you can kind of hear me over, over it and whatnot. Uh, so, right, so... It should be device properties, additional device properties, and if we go to, huh. I shouldn't be able to hear myself, but I can. Oh, you know what, it's not the end of the world, I just get this weird um, kind of echo of my own voice, which I don't love my own voice as much as you'd think, so. Um, and I can hear all my clicking and stuff which you shouldn't be able to hear that either I've got no filters on it or anything ah okay I had the wrong one monitor off okay that should work okay good so I shouldn't have any feedback of anything no okie dokie right well good to see you Mike good to see you dropping in how are you doing on this good Friday night? What are you up to tonight, apart from watching me, of course? Which is always welcome. I'm going to put a great big warning before this stream that it could go down at any point. Um, because... Uh, I don't know if I've set everything up right, number one. And number two, I my computer is riding the edge of the graphics card. Um, all right, okay, that's good. Maybe it was because I had the monitor on or something that it was doing it. But if it's if it's cleared up a little bit, that's good, and we'll uh, we'll go with this for now. Just let me know if any of the the levels sound a bit out because I haven't got a monitor on now, so I don't know um, what anything is. And yeah, to cut to what I was saying before. Um, when I loaded the game up before, it was riding the shutdown temperature of uh, of the of the graphics card, which normally shuts my computer down. So if there is a shutdown, I'm either going to come back and play uh, a retro game, because that shouldn't send the graphics card into pandemonium, or I'll have to switch to the PlayStation. But switching to the PlayStation is a nightmare because I've had to kind of unplug everything to get the to get the PC up and running. So we've got to hope that it's the PC. So I'm doing everything I can to uh, give the PC a bit of a boost. Just let me change a couple more things in the task manager, which I'd forgot to do. One of them is to put OBS at high priority. Which is good. And then I just hope everything else runs to run smoothly. Uh, oh well, I should have made myself more clear. The computer could go down. I have got some tequila tonight, and I have got a beer or two. So the chances of me going down, I'd say eighty percent. But no. <laughs> but I didn't take any kratom or anything tonight, so um, that's a good thing. So we're going to start a completely new game. Okay, and the reason we're going to start a complete new game is because I've been playing this on the Xbox Series X, uh, Xbox Series S, sorry, I wish I had an X, it'd be beautiful, but I don't. Um, and I've been, I've had huge breaks 
but when I am playing it, I'm finding myself playing it quite heavily and really, really enjoying it. So it was like, I was playing it the other day and I was like, you know what, this is, this is what I should be streaming, not, I mean, the other games like The Last of Us, I like them and whatnot, but I'm like, I'm really enjoying this, playing this, I'm having some fun moments, some, some scary moments, some hard moments, but overall I'm enjoying playing it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to try and whack my computer on see if it works. Everything had changed on my OBS settings and stuff which is why I had a hard time getting it up and running cuz Restream have changed their website and stuff and so right so we'll go with a new game. Now we're going to go easy I think because like we all know I can be really um I can be really kind of uh drunken at times so uh, we get to pick a path we could be a nomad a street kid or a carpool what do you think Mike I want to give you the option because you're the only person in the stream at the moment so I think you should give the option of where to go now I have played on the Xbox as a carpool so I do kind of know how that plays but it's your choice whichever one t tickles you fat well I'm guessing this one probably would tickle your fancy nomad, but the Street Kid one looks pretty cool as well. A lot more neon in that one. So, um, and you get a, a pretty, a pretty nice car there. Uh, I've not done the nomad or the Street Kid. I've done the Corpo. So, yeah, I mean, all of the stories are kind of similar. You just get different answers with different things, and. I'm guessing whichever one you choose, I would start building the character kind of around that. Because you can go down different uh, different routes. Choices, choices. Yeah, I better hold up on that. Uh, better hold up on this tequila or I will be going down. I've just took two massive swigs of it. nice tequila though. While you're thinking about it, I'm gonna change the uh, gonna change the uh, chat ever so slightly because I think it's just slightly too intrusive there. I thought I might be able to elongate it. Okay, let's have a look. Looks like Mike's made his choice, so I'll turn this off, turn off the preview, and go uh, back to the game. And let's have a look. What, you strike me as a bot, if a nomad. Uh, I am a bot. I thought you'd work that out by now, that's why there's no camera. <laughs> no, it's okay, I understand. I can read in between the lines, Mike. You're calling me a robot and a bit of a doy. And you might not be wrong. So let's go with nomad then. Okay, uh, shall we have a male with female genitalia, or are we going with a female with male genitalia? What do you want? I don't know which one would piss Ellard's girl off the most. <laughs> but you get one, you get the other. Might even have a female with a beard. Or a male with tits. Great thing about this game. No holding you back. Go oh, full block, right? <laughs> right, blokey okey. Oh, I can't I can't put a fanny on him. Right, okay, let's see. Voice tone. Right, we'll go super masculine. Oh no, we'll go I'm masculine. V. Okay, there you go. Uh, we'll go skin tone. We're going to go full white. That, that's just to piss Alan's car off as well. In fact, I'm going to select it particularly for the straightest, like, strongest white I can get. Right. Okay. Skin type. Fucking hell, what's that? A TikTok filter? Right, let's have a look. Four, three. If we're nomad, I think I'm going to go with number three. Just looks a bit worn, a bit sand. 
a bit sand uh, sun swept sun swept all right so oh yeah I like that one actually I know everybody else would hate that one so I should go with it but no I'm gonna have a look through see I'm just gonna see what suits his face really see a lot of these don't Oh, dodgy cornrows. Hmm. They could sue him. I know they look strange at first, but they could sue him. Let's see what else we've got. I don't really want to go with the um, dreadlocks because, you know, nomadic life, dreadlocks, it kind of goes hand in hand in the movies and stuff, so I want to stay away from that. That's why I was like, oh, the co see, even these cornrows. A man bun, absolutely not. I cannot do a playthrough with a man bun. Spiky could be 1980s cyberpunk, couldn't it? Yeah, should we go spiky? Part of me wants to go spiky. I'm going to have to, like, choose. I think we're going to go on probably my favourite colour, but I don't know whether to do tips or... Yeah, we'll go tips of my favourite colour. Uh, no, I don't like that one. I'm going to go with that one. Okay, so... Eyes, yes, two, please. I know, again, Ella's guy probably isn't going to like any eye colours, but this is the future, so we do want him to be like slightly. We want we, we want him to be someone who's going to like scare people because he is a nomad. So that would be. I think a skull on crossbones is taking it a bit too far. Plus, we never really see ourselves on, uh, unless we look in the mirror or we're on a bike. Okay. So, eyebrows. We want them to look a little bit... Ooh. Could kind of go fringe style and not have any uh, hair whatsoever. I think we'll go with number eight because we want them to be a bit, kind of a bit, uh... Right, we want a brutish looking nose. Stop touching it so I can see, please. Way too... There we go. Oh yeah. From the shores of Italy. Alright, so we need a quite a large mouth. I mean, even the jaw's going to need to be if he's a sand kid. I think that seven one's a good one. Ears. I'd prefer big cobbled jug ears, but I don't give it, I don't know if it gives you that option. Oh yeah, it does. There's some big jug ears for you. Unfortunately, they're not cauliflowered. Uh, beard six, okay. So, yeah, we, we, I think we're gonna go quite, with quite a bit of beard. I'm not gonna go for silly mustaches. Can you change the mustache? Maybe it's stuck to that one. I think it might be actually. Well, I quite like that one, actually. I don't know whether to go with the same beard colour as, uh, as hair colour. Let's see how it plays out. That doesn't quite work the same, does it? That's too green. But he is a nomad, so he's supposed to be like kind of part threatening to people. So I'm thinking turquoise or like. No, the red doesn't work, does it? Alright, I think that one might work. You can always change it later on, I think. Right, cyberware on. Because he is going to use cyberware. I think we'll have it around the eyes. I'm gonna give him some 
some facial scares, if I can see what they are. I quite like that one. I don't know what that is, that's monkey pox, I think. Uh, oh, I quite like, quite like that one, but that looks more like intentional sc Ooh, intentional scarring! Yeah, I like that, actually. And then we'll go for a face tattoo. He's a sinner and lethal. That might be a bit too much for me. I can handle some facial tattoo. Ooh, a barcode type of thing. Yeah, I like that. Okay, piercings. I didn't like his current ones. I don't think there's a huge choice, actually. Right, and we'll make them like a gold color or something. Oh, you can get different, different from usual. I don't mind that, but I definitely don't like those piercings. I don't like that thing through the nose. Never have done. Each to their own, but... Okay, so we'll go with that one. Right, teeth! We haven't even started yet! Gold teeth? Yeah, come on, gold teeth. It's gotta be gold teeth, hasn't it? Eye makeup, eye makeup colour, so let's go with something... Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I'm going to go with the same colour for the lip, if possible, or something very, very similar. Oh, I don't know about that, like... Doesn't look what I expected it to look like. And red just doesn't work at all. Eh. Okay, so I think lip makeup style is off. Just doesn't work for me. No, no cheap cheek stuff. Right. Nails short. Long. We're going to go long nails. Because he lives in the middle of nowhere. He might use them to open cans. You never know. Uh, and we'll go with black. Oh no, we won't. We'll go with blackish. Can't really tell the difference with half of these, can you? Flames. Okay, we'll go with flames. All right, this is starting to look like the type of guy now. Nipples on. Body tats on. Oh, I quite like that one actually, straight off the bat. But let's have a look at the others. Four, five. Yeah, I'm going to go for number one. Genitalia. On penis size, super large. Actually, no, we should go super small, shouldn't we? <laughs> Pubic hair, that got to be a bush, on it? He's never going to clean himself up, that boy. I'm certainly not having a love art down there. Uh, okay, we'll go black. Okay. Looks like our man. So this is where we're gonna now put um, put our money uh, or put our purchase points into it. We've got seven extra purchase points. So we are going to go with uh, I think so. Let's have a quick look. I think we're gonna have to put something into cool I think technical ability could be an important part as well um, I think we've got to put something into intelligence because this is the future so he's going to be based around building a cyber deck and stuff Yeah, I mean I think you have to Way too much detail. I don't know. I don't mind it. I wish they had a bit more detail. But yeah, we're nearly finished. Um, and obviously body. I think we're going to have to put something in body. I think we'll put a bit more intelligence. And a bit more in... Wanting technical ability. And I'm like... Is it less composure and effectiveness? 
You know, if I'm actually, you know what? I'm taking coal out of it. Uh, reflect me everywhere around movement speed. Okay, intelligence is that and body is that. Okay, so I think we're gonna go into. Um, Okay, so these are going to be our three main ones. We're going to have body, intelligence, and technical ability, and then reflexes and cool are going to be our secondary one. Um, and let's go, let's get into the game. Okay, so that's our... So, no backstory of nomad roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks: honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess, and no amount of money can buy. So, here's what you're looking at: honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. So, those are three things. The three eyes, apart from one of them's an H. Um, those are the things that I have to try and live by with the character. So, honesty, integrity, and freedom. Freedom! And that's confirmed, so now the game will load in. Just checking my uh, temperatures. So, I'm at 52 at the moment. Now, once the game loads in, that'll go up higher, but. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. What you up to tonight, by the way, Mike? You didn't mention earlier, did you? Sorry, I um, you maybe did. No, you didn't. So this, yes, we do have some additional content. Uh, we've got fees, new parents, change fees, appearance. I think you get that when you get your first house. And then some of these extra things, I'm really not... There's an alternative Johnny Silverhand, but I won't bother with any of that. Um, I was wrong. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. So first things first, this is a complete and utter looter. So there is... Now, there's all these shards. Now... I don't know if I should read them, um, because they're quite long, a lot of them, but they do tell you all about the game. Uh, well, not just the game, but what's going on in the game world, um, which is pretty cool. So, a uh, shop inventory there, and I'm guessing just most of it will be uh, crap, as it, no it normally is on these. Right, okay, so we've only looted a couple of things, but at least we've got them. Because you do need to loot everything in this game. Everything. If we go into my inventory at the moment, we'll just see what we've got. We've got a jacket, t-shirt, um, some trousers, and some boots. And we've got this one gun. We've only got 21 armor, which is nothing. So, can I always look for another shop where they won't ask a loan no matter what talking about it? I'm going to pay you what we pay agreed. What we agreed. Honesty. Not one anymore. Huh. For that, you can borrow my tools and fix it yourself. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> Uh, smashing about the not nice stuff. Uh, playing an old game. What's, uh, what's Stronghold? I don't know this one. How old when you say old? I was going to stream a game called Snatcher, which is a cyberpunk uh, 
a cyberpunk game from the Sega CD. And I am going to stream it one day because it's a great game. Mm. Huh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Mm. And? And your chirping is not helping. I'm going to bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? I actually quite like already this character. Just through the few... Just through the few options that I've already had. Now, a lot of other uh, options come in as you as you grow as a as as a player so um you know obviously i want to here at the top right uh, top left sorry you can see i have level one at the moment which that goes up to level 50 i think and then street cred which is how how much people respect you and i want that to be as high as possible with this character okay let's see what happens hey katina how goes it it's like i was telling you yeah, shut your face. Yeah. How would you like Not that? Not shabby apples? at all. Questions how long it'll last you. Yeah, it'll get me to Night City. I'll figure something else out there. I used to love that type of stuff when I was younger. So doable? It sure was. Satisficing that. Not a solid fix. Might as well appear you up to Katrina apart from what you would cost. That's what matters. Did Cyberpunk pull you in? I, I I need to have a conversation with you away from the game at some point uh, because I don't want you, you to know, spawn. Him, I don't have all day. I don't understand why you don't like Johnny Silver. He's a bit of a dick. I'm not saying he isn't, but I'm I, looking for uh, someone. Maybe Jackie you've Wells made that judgment on the ending. Yeah, well, I've said like I, I'm, punch. I'm really hoping that the PC doesn't go down. Now I'm saving 10, 10 degrees at the moment, which is good. So I'm, I'm well, I'm actually 13 degrees off the shutdown of the card, which is pretty damn good. Not liable so. to hear much. You don't say. But I am going to be, I'm going to be streaming this for a while, Katina, because hey, I'm really. Didn't know um, you had a customer. Uh, Rolled in a few hours past. I was I, just I, saying, I, I have it for the Xbox Series X, and on and off I've played it, but when I have played it, I've been really, really into it, and uh, thoroughly enjoying it, and I've really got to grips with a lot of the mechanics now, which I didn't get to grips with the first playthrough. Um, so I, I thought uh, he'd at least called into you. Don't you swear to Mike. We're going to hash it out. Right, so remember, I have to be honest with integrity. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. My mistake. I hadn't planned on stopping. A failed coupling forced my hand. Yeah. Always some failure high mistakes. <sighs> Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. So it was selling coke off, on a street car on a mic. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? That a nomad be... Well, it's funny you should say that, Kathina, because um, I was just talking about this in either the last stream or the stream before. And you're saying, like, I don't want to pay out for a graphics card. And rightfully so. It's bloody... The prices are exorbitant. But we're now seeing games getting paused in development because of this chip crisis. And I'm like... You can't pause development on all of your games. Like, we're going to have no releases. But all the big companies have started doing it now. Um, Bethesda, I still don't understand why they've paused it on Starfield. Because I don't... From some of the leaks, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's going to be that uh, next gen anyway. Vehicle, might have expected that. I'll just fix it and go. I've no reason to linger. 
nope, again. You sure shit don't. Just being honest. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? I can ask what he has against them. Are you one of those who believe everything the talking heads say? The nomads are the world's greatest evil? No. I'm a man that respects order. Corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that the way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog. You know that? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to see me bear my fangs. So I'll ask again. Where's your clan? There is no clan. There is no camp. I'm here alone. Ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I sold broadcast and comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down, and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? I've made it clear. I don't want any trouble. Then stop looking for it and hit the road quick. Okay. of Nomad Club. Go to the telecom tower, don't drive past it. Oh, you think you think so? I don't know, I thought, I, I just thought that, the, the, well, no, I'm sure they're holding it back because of the chip shortage. Because most people can't afford a new graphics card, most people can't afford a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox X. And although the, the Xbox Series S, for whatever reason, is, uh, you can get hold of it much easier, uh, the PlayStation 5, d no, but, um, but, um, you know, the, the, unless everybody goes out and buys Xbox Series X, there's no, there's not a lot of people with a next-gen console. Unfortunately, I have a lot of uh, rich students, which is very annoying because a lot of them have a PlayStation and use it to play Fortnite. So you can imagine my quandary of killing them or not killing them. Um, but there's evidence, unfortunately. But geez, I've got three kids with a PlayStation 5, and all they play is FIFA and Fortnite. And I have to live with that every darn god day of my life. Uh, let's see if we can't walk across this beam and get to this box. So as I said, this is a looter, so, you know, anything lootable is lootable. Especially anything with the uh, components and what they're not. I'm a walking long a beam oh, and I'm jumping up a doo. Oh shit, I fell. That's what I get for talking like a cowboy and not knowing what to do. And now I'm climbing on here and it's not where I'm supposed to be. Right, okay. We're gonna run here. Why were you getting blue screen of death? I've had a few blue screens of death, but as I said, like, it's a real... My, my computer's what? My computer's eight years old now. And considering it still runs most games... Okay, they don't run on Ultra, but it runs most games out of the box, regardless of what they are. I might draw the line at Crisis. Um, oh, we've got a photo mode. Uh. Oh my god, he's supposed to look kick-ass, and instead he just looks like me after a few. I'd have glued the hair on, but pretty much looks like me after another few. 
I've all, I always play corporal characters in this game. I've tried the other two, but I don't know. I find the ex-corp characters to be the most interesting. Um, yeah, I've played a corporal character on the Xbox. I think the corporal character fits the world. I think the Nomad's like the least to fix fit the world in a way. Um, but we'll see how this character plays out, because I've honestly never seriously played it through as a nomad, so... And this is going to be a long... I mean, this, this playthrough's going to go on for God knows how long. Because this game is so long. I have to keep pausing, because I've got a cough. I've got a cough because of the meditation I'm on. Unf uh, meditation? Medi medication I'm on, sorry. I'm on a thing for blood pressure, and um, although it isn't terrible, it does cause me to have little coughing fits every now and again, unfortunately. And when they come, I can't bloody stop them. Right, let me just go grab a quick beer, people. I'll be back in a moment. Um, give me, like, one minute. Alright, I'm going to be totally honest, that was longer than a minute, sorry. Shouldn't make promises I can't keep. Uh, I'm enjoying the Switch though. Honestly, Nintendo had a massive sale recently, I picked up like 500 quid worth of games. Oh, it's not bad. I'm always up for... I use a website called CD Keys, which for PC games, dirt cheap, and then um, quite often there's an Xbox game that pops up on there as well. Um, Okay, let's connect to the radio station. And yeah, Elite's the sad thing. I'm going to be honest with you. I've got, I've got. Uh, it's not even Elite that's suffering at the moment. It's Flight Simulator as well. Considering how much I love Flight Simulator, I just don't have the time to put into it at the moment. And it's just, just a, it's a sad, sad fact about my job and stuff this year. And obviously these fucking health problems. Um, which hopefully will get sorted over the summer. Um, but, yeah, 
just I haven't got enough time to put into it. And I was just thinking about flight. I was dreaming about flight simulator the other day, and I was just like, God, I miss this game so much, but I just don't have the time. And Elite's just as bad because I know there's been numerous updates. And as soon as I plug that throttle quadrant in, it's going to be like, Hello, I missed a remap. And I'm going to go crazy. Why 480p? It shouldn't be 480p, Brian. Is it really 480p, people? Is anybody ever else getting 480p? I don't think I can change my... Uh... No, it shouldn't be 480p. It should be come at, coming out at... Uh... What would it be? It should be coming out at 720. Just checking my... Uh... Oh shit, wrong one. Uh, audio output. Stream. It should be coming out at 720. Oh shit. Really? Oh crap. Well how's that happened? One second, let me let me have a look at this then. I don't understand why it's only coming out at that output mode. It's not letting me to right, okay. Shit, record coins and uh, stream. Right, why is it doing this? There was a stri there was an update to my OBS and unfortunately as that's updated it's changed stuff but I can't see the option for the output now. Holy shit. Why has it done that? Let me just open Firefox quickly. I'm hoping this won't send my GPU through the roof because I'm doing well on my G on my graphic uh, on my GPU at the moment. Yeah, but it shouldn't throttle it at 480. It it just shouldn't. I want to make sure it's not an issue with. Uh, Not with Streamlabs, with uh, Restream. Well, I'm glad you pointed out, Brian, because this is bloody stupid. I mean, it's alright for people watching on a phone or a tablet or something, but it's no good for anybody watching on a... <clears throat> I want to make sure it's not an issue with... Uh... Okay, so... Right, okay. So yeah, definitely for... It actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it isn't the end of the world. It's just... I'm, and, I, and I'm not going to let it hold me up for more than another minute. I'm just going to see why. Uh, in the... In the studio. I'm going to see if it's coming through the studio. Uh, because Restream's changed for the worst. I don't know what ha what's happened with Restream, but they've changed it, and... Like, at the moment, I can't see what I'm streaming on Restream, which is really weird. <laughs> um, right, okay, so, studio... Yeah, I can't actually see my current stream at the moment. But okay. Alright, okay. So resolution. So 1092614. Let me just check something. 1092614. I know. I know. Right, okay. Well, I know where the problem is. I'll change it for next time, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I'd rather be streaming, but anyway, yeah, I'll. I'll... Hello. No, Come no, in. Brian, I need Come to. Come in. Ah, raised you finally. 
Willie McCoy, it's good to hear your voice. As I said, people who are watching on a phone, it's okay. You've got good quality, but uh, for anybody watching on a PC, it's going to turn them off. Fee. Wish I could say the same. I need your help. One last time. One last time. Again? I have to find the client with my payload, but I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, hey, right time. Clips. I, hope you I, there? I hope you haven't run away. Sorry. How are you doing? My car gave out. The electric coupling. It's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. <laughs> don't give Brian a hard time. I actually left a message. <laughs> actually, He's don't waiting give on Brian a farm. hard time. He always gives me a hard Flicking time. Flicking you the geolope data. <laughs> Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. So the sound effects are pretty good. Night City looks a bit shit from this distance, but then again, I have been playing the Xbox Series S, so I'm a bit, maybe, maybe I'm a bit too used to it. So I have to return to, ah, the car, I'm dead. <laughs> what an absolute plonker. Got it saved there. <laughs> now I don't know. Now I don't look so much of a tit. Wee. Doesn't matter if I hurt myself a little bit because uh, we're all friends here. Oh shit! Holy, holy camole! Hang on, where are the stairs? Oh, yeah. I think I think it was longer to go the, down the way I've just taken than it would have to. Uh, down, just make sure that this door's not openable. No, it's not. This is a looter, so you're gonna have to get, get used to seeing a bit of looting. That's the only thing about this game, is that the, the, the car doesn't brake properly. It goes automatically into reverse, there's no, um, there's no kind of side bit, uh, not side bit, there's kind of no in between. Oh. I'm not going to break into that vehicle. People are like, why are you doing that Swifty? Nicking stuff and looting stuff is the oh, law. I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope you're here for me. So I'm going to read this one because this is an ex excerpt from the the history of the nomads. So I want to learn this part. Um, so the first nomad code: protect and respect your clan and especially your family. So that part's really important. Anybody in this game who becomes my family are gonna be my number one priority. You are worth as much as your word. So if I promise somebody something, that's it. I have to stick to it. Share with others in your clan. So if anybody's asking for anything, they're gonna get it. Respect the privacy and well-being of your clan. So I can't push anybody for information. Um, or what, what else could it be? 
push information or even push a situation to ask them maybe to to, to, to do more than they should. Never put your clan in danger, so okay, so that's a, more of a difficult one because in this type of game people generally offer you stuff. So that'll be difficult to impose, but I'll try. And always take an honest pay for honest work, so don't ask for more than it's worth. Okay, so those are kind of the rules I have to stick by. As we talk to Jackie, I'm just going to make sure I... Let's be honest and straightforward. Are you Wells? Uh, Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? It's kind of like... Who's that? Oh, God, not Elisgar. <laughs> Are oh, you getting the solar panel? Ah, yeah, because Ellisgar's a nomad as well. So he'll love this character, because he's a nomad too. How are you doing, Rob? Do you always do the car thing in third person? I never got used to it. I always did it in first person. Yeah, I, I hate doing it in first person. It's way too hard. <laughs> or just good manners. Don't worry, you know? we'll be in the city soon, Kathina. You're a man of principle? You need a backbone, cabron. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. <laughs> and you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and Hey David Page, how how's it going? I've played Cyberpunk and I'm crap at it. Uh, I'm sorry for the um, low quality stream today, by the way. I'll fix it for the next one. I've played Cyberpunk and I'm crap at it. No, you're not crap at it. When I first played this game, I hated it. So, the first thing I'll I'll say is that when you're picking your character, you want to pick three of these to concentrate on. Two of them are gonna you're gonna max out. One of them you're gonna get to 18 or 15, and the other ones you can just get to wherever or or just leave them if you're really not that 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 interested. But I would always try and use every thing you have, and then the perk points will go through them as I get them because I haven't got any at the moment. So, but the perk points are actually really important too. Um, and the thing is, is that the game isn't difficult. What I would say is, so if you go into map, thankfully they've changed some things about the map now. Um, thankfully. So if you go to the map and, for example, you just go to the filter jobs by custom. Okay. You want to load up gigs. It's not going to show it here because I'm in the, pro uh, I'm in the, the, pro uh, the, pro the prologue. Perhaps. Um, so you want to load up gigs and MPC scanner and so for example if you are in uh, Watson you want to complete all of them before you move on with anything to do with the storyline if you do that you'll always be uh, you'll always be ready for the missions if you don't do that the missions are always going to be harder and to be honest with you the missions can be hard enough but some of the big bosses if we use the word big bosses um, if you're not at a high level they are ridiculously hard and sometimes if you're at a high level they're still ridiculously hard I've had to come up with God knows how there was one guy who I died like a hundred times over and had to uh, had to work it so um, uh, so I had to like just work my way out how to kind of not glitch but how to take advantage of the situation I was in uh, let's have a look who else oh, let's go. I hope you're doing an episode I know he has a, he's not been he's not been posted It's blowing a gale. Oh, okay, so he is a... Hang on, David Page? No, that's David Cage I'm thinking of. Um, 
Why did you retract your first message, Joe? What was in there? <laughs> we all hate Arco, correct? Yeah, and to be honest with you, again, Kathina's saying there, if you really want to make it much easier on yourself, invest in... I always forget. Intelligence. Invest everything in, intel in intelligence and work on your cyberware and stuff like that. But again, those extra missions as well get you loads of extra money. And money is really important in this game too. It's not easy to get through this game without money. And I, I have cheesed some things to get more money, uh, unfortunately, in my, other, in my other game. I've had to do Me? it because it was taking We're so gonna long. We're going to get along fine. But I think this game is going to end up being like The Witcher. We have to wait for all the DLCs and everything to come out before we'll get the game as it should be played. The cargo. What's inside? You sleep better the less you know. No, I need Got no to idea know. myself. That's a good thing. You don't know what we aim to smuggle? These are stolen corporate goods. Stolen? No. Oh. Some gonk lost the crate. Some other gonk found it, passed it on. Now it's here. You know, butterfly effect or whatever. And there's no one looking for this crate. Ain't a problem if they look. Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. Ah, uh, don't worry, Joe. Don't correct yourself. We've all got we've all got YouTube eyes. It's definitely better than it was on release. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. The game plays. I don't know if Kathina agrees with me. The game plays a little bit wonky, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. So, when I say it plays wonky, it's because it's an open world game and whatnot. I kind of put it up against uh, against Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, uh, Watch Dogs and things like that. And when you put it up against those games, it just plays wonky. I, I don't know how to explain it, but if you play it enough, you get over it. You get over it, and I think that um, I, I, I think it takes a lot of getting over, but you you do get over it. Started thinking you might not come. I got held up, and you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know. The sheriff looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. So, we headed out? So, we're smuggling this in tonight, City, I'm guessing. Drive to the board. The board is not there. Ah, oh, okay, okay, that's the border, okay, okay. This is the border, I'm guessing, here. So there's all these pull-off lanes and buildings. Don't think the actual border's at a crossroads. That would be really strange. Do you have the manifest from the transport? Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds? He... he did. I was just making sure. Listen, friend, we're both professionals, ain't we? Sure, you've moved contraband before. Why, are you nervous? Me? Ha! <laughs> ah, por favor. Well, a lot of smoke ahead. Uh, maybe a little. helicopter by the looks of it. Not like that. Hey, water crossing up ahead. 
what now? Nothing. They'll scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. I'm gonna go in the slow lane. No, I can't go in the slow lane. There's a lot of border patrol here. It looks like somebody tried to run it there. Feels like when I'm going to Andorra, it actually does. You fuck shit yourself when you come through here because you got loads of alcohol on board and stuff. It's like, wait. Please direct your vehicle to the inspection area. Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have to calm down. Right, right, yeah. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. <laughs> it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo is flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. They're about to find out. So, Ken, if they know we're smuggling... The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? Relax. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? If you want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docus, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Right. You forgot. So again, I have to bribe him. It's part of the deal. I'll keep the engine running. So, so any opportunity, I'm gonna need to bribe him. He knows what's going on because it's a lost on arrival paper. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Now, please report to room number two. <laughs> well, in this neckbeard world, I'm sure Kathina's come across that before, unfortunately. Room two. But she seems equipped to please do sit. any crap. Right. So, let's go through this interview. Papers. I know the rules. Everything's there. It might be. It might not be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Probably gonna get done over for that, but it's... Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which Nomad clan? None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Don't forget to take your personal items. That was a bit too easy, wasn't it? Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. But what can you do? Young, naive... Pay that with Jews. Which is just optimism for ignorant. 
appeared I would do, so hopefully we're gonna get out of this okay. What happened in there? Am I passenger now, Jackie? Okay. I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. You're gonna tell me what happened back there. I do. Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Me too. Oh, happened a lot to you. I'm not totally worried, but I'm not. Smelling trouble around the bend. Drive, Jackie. Just drive. I'm not totally of the opinion that everything's all right. Someone's coming our way. This is the thing. I don't think they'd let you through customs. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. Okay. So. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. I still don't believe Damn. they'd let you into Night City. It's okay. Vehicle combat. Draw a weapon. Sometimes these things happen. This? What kind of shit happens? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <sighs> so what now? We've crossed the border. Now you pay me, and we go our separate ways. Yep. Uh, fair I ain't gonna lie. Pay. Fair days pay for a fair day's work. We got across the border. I shot the guys. He has to pay me. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I was just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but... You're all right. Oh, that's not a bad deal, Elska. I was going to say, what the hell are you doing volunteering? But eh, for somebody who doesn't like... Uh, for somebody who's uh, <laughs> against socialism, you, you choose some socialist things. No, but I think it's good. It's, if it saves you the money and you're helping out, I think that's a good thing. 
I appreciate the honesty. So hey, again, thanks. I have to be straight with him. So, what's next? Now we take a peek inside. So could have done the whole island green nomad stuff, but open it. It doesn't fit what I am. I don't know if your client's gonna be happy getting an open package. It usually means trouble. Fuck the client. You gotta start working for yourself sometime. No commission, no middleman. And I need to know what I'm selling if I'm gonna try to find a new buyer. Aw, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Then maybe we'll make some heavy money. Oh, Mamis. A real iguana. A, uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser Antil what? Yeah, I watched the thing on TV about them. Went mm. extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. You think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you, uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? I don't have any plans. I've spent the last years traveling between states with my nomad family. I'll probably be waiting for you somewhere, eh? No. We decided to go our separate ways. I must be tough. You never empathize with him? Um, yeah, it does. I mean... I empathize with Jackie because he's a product of the city, isn't he? He's a street kid pro product of the city. And so, he reminds me in a, in a way like Del Boy. I, 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 I talk to people about this quite openly sometimes, about how, how actually, how much of a horror of a human being Del Boy Trotter is. Um, I, I, the American people won't understand this, but there's a character in a TV program in the UK, or a comedy TV program. He's a very lovable guy, and they write him as very lovable. But he's actually an asshole. Like he rips all his friends off. He rips off anybody who he can, who he crosses. And money is his absolute number one thing. He's sociopathic in his tendencies, and we're taught that he's this nice character, uh, when in reality he he really truly isn't. Although it's a TV show, and it doesn't matter. And I kind of got the feel, same feeling about Jackie, is that you have to empathize in an artistic way, but he gets himself into trouble. Uh -huh. I have no you one know, to go back to. You leave him in an empty room, the police are going to be called. You know, it's that type of thing. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks. Much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. It got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Hey! Aw, cuddly little fucker. <laughs> okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. <laughs> But he does everything at Rodney's expense, and, and Denzel's expense, and Boyce's expense, and and Mike's expense, and Trigger's expense. You know, it's like uh, he's incredibly self-sufficient. Incredibly self-sufficient. But again, it's Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gonks will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. 
And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the party, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. These legends know where you'll find most of them. The graveyard. Ah! Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of dreams. Okay, so that's kind of... Uh... The introduction. Uh, how you doing, Malcolm? Well, I like him from the beginning, actually, Kathina. That's the thing. That's why I asked earlier. Not to. We'll, we'll have to have a conversation off stream one day. I think we're looking I for somewhere in the Johnny Silverhand from the from the beginning because although he's a rock star and everything, he he does what he does, and he he's very. He, People want him to change, but he doesn't lie to anybody. He's actually a dick from the moment you meet him. Like now, that's obviously not a, a positive trait, but um, he just—he is who he is. This building, probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right. Speaking of which, got you a little something. I love this little mission because it, it this mission in. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves, down for some target practice in VR. I'm gonna skip Not it because I've got a no lot time. of experience. Maybe in this later. Game now. Sure, sure. Mañana, mañana. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? So again, the reason I'm asking this extra bit of information is because I need as much information as I can to do the mission. As a nomad, it's very straightforward. I think a corporal would be too. Street kid, maybe not so much. Street kid would be quite blase. That's why I think that the, the, the idea of nomad and corporate are two stupid things to put together because they're both the opposite end of the spectrums, but they have the same... Um, they have the same lines, so if you think like uh, Democrats and Republicans in the American political sphere, they both they're both going to do whatever they do for their group to win. They don't like they're not interested in anything in the middle. Um, so both will commit crime, both will do whatever to get their point across. You know what I mean? Well, no. If you don't get if you don't get it, it's it's like I I, I understand. I, I'm just very good at playing devil advocate, and uh, I think that you know, um, if you go with any rock star, like I let, let's think of a dickhead rock star. So John Lennon, John Lennon was an asshole even before Yoko came along, um, but he. he kind of doubled down after Yoko came along because he's um, he wanted to be taken he wanted her to be taken seriously but uh, but yeah okay if you don't like anti-heroes it's understandable yeah but well this game it is a bit when you say don't emo it up I kind of get you it's just it's a bit over the top the game in general that's why I said you have to kind of give Jackie a bit of a pass. He's played up for the character. I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Let's do this. Okay, so Elevator. we're in some this way. Dodge parking garage. None of the cars work, so it's telling me this is probably in Middlesbrough. Oh no, it's not. It's in Night City. I forgot. But um, yeah. Nobody uses the undercrank car park because your car gets scrapped. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got uh, whatever this is. Air hypo and handcuffs. Well, I'll use them on Jackie later. Because the sexuality of these characters and stuff, you'd never bloody know. Um, okay, inventory. An arm coated Yukata. Okay. And then there's an impact absorbent uh, biker vest. I think the biker vest is going to suit me better. I don't think that the other thing is going to work that well. Um, okay, so I think we've got... No, we've only got one gun. Okay. So we need to change that. We've only got $300, uh, $300 at the moment. Or 300 eddies, as they're called in the game. Big moves, my no. But again, like I said, you have to loot everything and you have to go through everything. You cannot leave anything, especially at the early part of the game. I'm in the elevator with Jackie, okay. Where the apartments? Target Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. Sorry, I didn't mean to sneeze time, on the stream there. I was we trying to pull the, sure you're on the phone, microphone up. Sorry. That don't make you any less part of this squad. Spread beer everywhere. Squad. Charming. Mm. Yes, they do, Malcolm. And it's very important that front men have it. Because they give a lot of character to the group. Otherwise, the group would be very, very vanilla. Maybe I'm just too dyed in the wood traditional. Well, maybe. I don't know. I think... Older RPGs didn't let you, uh, but having said this, this game doesn't let you be the person you want to be, truly. It really doesn't. Um, they kind of crafted a storyline around each person, I guess, or each type that you choose, when in theory they should, they should have crafted it around these stats. So everything in the game should have changed based on these stats. Now. You can choose specific answers in conversation based on these stats. You can. But I think actually that your journey should have changed due to these. Not due to the path you took in general. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. No. She's not better than him. She doesn't have any right to do that. So she's been a bit of a douche. I'm not going to pull her up on it too much, but she doesn't have it. She's no better than Jackie. None of us. If we're asking someone to come on a mission with us, they're no better than we Looking are. We're no better than they are. She's doing Target her part. Should be inside, she isn't but the I got one with the gun. Fingers crossed, it's not too late. Is that you? Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Let's check down here. As I said, this is a scavenging game, so we're going to make sure there's nothing scavengeable. I don't think there is, actually. I think there was a previous time I played it. Profile. You don't know what low profile is. So, so we got some stuff here. Now, I'll go into all of this later. The scavenging and whatnot, because the scavenging is really important. Um, let's see what we've got on here. Just a message. Are we are fucking got. late. Is that her? Is that our target? V? Shut up. Let me do my job. Right, okay, so we've got a shard here. I'm gonna clear the room first. I'm gonna pick up uh, this bounce pack. V. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep a looking.
Yeah, I, I haven't finished the game yet, just so you know. Just so don't spoil or anything, please. I, I don't think you would spoil or anything, but just ask him for a friend. You know, um, eyes up. The nails are hid. I haven't even finished it. I'm, I'm taking my sweet ass time. Even on Xbox, like I'm just taking it so slowly. Baby steps V, and I'm just watching. So the reason I didn't kill is because, again, that honesty and integrity. Like, if I don't have to kill, I don't have to kill. And I have to take that into consideration. I don't know if it's going to be a case of where I'm going for legs only and stuff like that. But I do know that if, if it means not killing someone, it means not killing someone. Um, I think we're going to go with bounce back mark 1. Instantly reduces 40%. Instantly. Okay, so no, those ones I don't want. I want that one. Um <laughs> Brian's very moral. I don't know why I laughed there. Automatic reaction, I guess. Oh me! Or oh, you. I'm very moral. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely Four moral. Bodies incoming. They're almost on you. Please fuck the three person. Oh yeah, me. They're coming. Wait for your chance. Pick the prick off. I'm more moral than people even understand Score sometimes. Of that primas group she's got. Cabrones. I wouldn't do that, would just be aware that there is more than one ending. Yeah, yeah, I know that there is, yeah. Um, There's five endings, apparently. Um, Dickus, Locus. Let's wait and plan a spree. Take one down. Just... Real quiet. Hey, grab the one closest. Let's take him. He's right there. So we're gonna, we're gonna drop him. All down. Let me eat. I'm probably not the last of them. I'm gonna go straight to inventory just in case his weapon is better. I'm supposing it's not, so we'll equip it as a secondary, um, secondary weapon, and even as a third weapon, just in case we run out of ammo, but I don't think we're going to run out of ammo. Uh, shoes, okay, so they're not as good, there's like a top, I mean, this type of difference. At this point in the game, this type of difference is not going to make a big difference, it really isn't. So, as I said, I'm gonna. You'll see me jumping in now because it's really important that I um, get what I need, basically. So it's like really, it's really important that I I choose the weapons and get the weapons because although the uh, although that assault rifle is not as good as a pistol, it's a shot and it it. I think the assault rifle's gonna. Hurt. Do the broach breach protocol. The breach protocol should be easy here. So it's one C, one C. Is that Jackie? All right. So we're doing the breach protocol. The breach protocol is like standard, but it gets all of your. on the 
sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, what? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. The only thing I don't like is the skip text or the skip message is linked to the get up button. So you, you want to get up, but you can't because you're skipping really important. It's so weird, but I'll take it for the time being. Right, okay. It's not a permanent weapon, so we're gonna get out of that. Shotguns are crap. Uh, they're actually. I've got in in one of my builds. I've got a shotgun, which is pretty fucking neat. Like it really it flattens people. Um, maybe it's not the best. Hang on, let me just go get a beer. I'll be one minute, people. I said I'd be one one minute before. Um, so I'm going to try and beat it. I'm going to run to the kitchen. Right, I think that was uh, just a little bit more than one minute because a chat to my housemate about a documentary she's watching because I watched it the other night. It's called Our Father. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. It's great. Um, okay, so Brian says, can one not manually change the key control? I actually don't know for the joypad. Obviously, for the for the keyboard, you normally know can. For the joypad, I think it's, it's standard. Um, plus... I don't know. You might be right. I might have a look at it another day. Okay, so these are kind of non-important uh, messages. I think we've already checked in here. No, we haven't. Cause there's stuff here. It's just a grenade, but a grenade is... I've got two lottery scratch cards now. You never know if I'm going to win. Now people will be like, Swifty, why are you going around doing this? You need every penny in this game. Cathena will tell you. You need every oh, single it. penny. Right, so let me just go into the inventory because I know I've got some new clothes. So I'm hoping that one of these... Yeah, so this vest, it's a slight upgrade. Well, I say a slight upgrade, it's actually a pretty good upgrade. So we're going to disassemble these ones. Because that's what you do in this game with white 
Now that's not a racist comment, that's a general comment about the colour of the guns. It's got nothing to do with a singular person. I don't want to be linked in with any of that... Uh... I didn't know you could get stuff from bounce backs. I normally sell them, but... You know what? I'll give it a go. What do I get? Common item... Oh. Uh, actually, common item components are important sometimes. Saves you by I thought we could be that sneaky. Oh. Man, it's not my Is favorite way at all, but... Nova anyway. Nope, we can't fit documents. They're worth three pound or something. Can't remember exactly how much they're worth, but they're worth like... an eddy. I'm gonna go down here, have a quick look. I think they've removed some stuff from here. There was definitely lootable stuff here before. 100%, but I'm guessing they've they've taken it away now. So that was street shoes. So we'll check the shoes. Yay! That gives us the same. But again, we can deconstruct these. And we've got some coolio shoes! I do actually want to buy some shoes this time. I do want to buy some shoes this time around, because last time... I played this game. I didn't buy anything. Everything was what I was found. And there is actually a PC mod which allows you to keep certain clothes, but uh, you can. I think you can mod them to legendary and stuff. Oh, I can't do keyboard and mouse, no. I mean, in certain games I can, but in this game I, I couldn't even begin to do it. Right, let's open this door, because I know what happens, because it's a standard storyline for the beginning of the game. Luckily she's got trauma got team it. coverage. Got our target. We make it? Kathina, quick question, do you have any of the comic books from this or anything? I've actually got some of the collectible books. I've got uh, a book about trauma team, I've got another one, I can't remember what that is. I've got the guide. And then I've got a thing for Night City. I love like I love looking at uh, concept art and everything. I'm a really big fan of it all. I love it. She alive? About to find out. V, Jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. <sighs> this does not look in. good. So the reason that I didn't it says check the other body in the tub. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care about the secondary person. I'm a nomad, I've been given a job, it's what I have to do. Her nipples don't look cold, Brian. Sandra Dorset, NC570442, Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomod, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug, you ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomod. Found the okay. shard. Removing now. I'm gonna trust Check her the biomod. she's doing so I'm not asking Anything any questions. Anything changed? Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched. Makes me laugh that assume uh, emergency position now or assume it's a recovery position. People think that's a bit of a joke. I actually used to do it when I was in university when I drank too much. <laughs> Three times the ambulance found me, they're like, Why is he in the recovery position? He put himself there. and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims Trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Oh God, this sounds like America, doesn't it? <laughs> Pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. That means poor little girl, by the way. Pobre means poor. And then Sita... So with an A is feminine, so it would mean like poor little girl. 
Uh, Cito would be masculine, so it's poor little boy. Oh fuck! Welcome to Spanish Class 101 with Swifty, who doesn't even speak Spanish, he speaks Catalan. Line. Big difference, but understands Me. the concept. Need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Fuck, this is bad! It gets vato! I think... Holy shit, it worked! Where a run? Oh, Get her outside! Got boobs in my face. It's very difficult for Swifty to get around this. Scavrat, man, in Jesus' legs. Must have seen drama. I right, take a to trauma to before you do anything you shouldn't. I don't mean that in a rapey way. Well, although that's how it came across. Because I stand clear. Initiating security protocol. Follow all instructions. And Knock in the doorway. <laughs> right, so do we put it down? Wait by the door, okay. Hang on, nonce? I'm not a nonce. A, a dunce. Place the patient oh, on the ground! I'm labeling myself, people. Right. Let's put her on there. Set her, what? Set her down. Can you Five know? steps back. Now! The talk about trauma team is really cool. TT 133 to control. Patient LC 5704 if you like reading. secured. Oh, shit. 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 The division has a whole great universe around it as well. Well, the only reason we haven't got hoverboards is because the world is corporate. Let's get out of here. And in corporatism, the elevator gets us to the will garage never move as fast as they should. Good work. Shit show's over. When you hire all your best scientists now. to be See in the near future. to work on uh, Wall Street rather than thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? actual things, mm. you're never gonna I gotta accomplish with anything. I can't take the metro. How's they gonna look for me? Only if you hang and jack, but don't get used to it. <sighs> Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm. Eat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Oh, <clears throat> V. How did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it is, past the uh, cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Then he drops Swing out. by to see you later. Know, uh... Are you still in the stream, Malcolm? I'm asking for a friend. No, I'm asking because I haven't seen Malcolm streaming recently. Without the NCPD, he's going to put Watson on lockdown. If I'm going to sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Oh, really? You can't drive for shit. I'll get us in a third of the time. And when you talk about first person, Kathina, I don't mind driving around the city in first person as in with somebody else. Try not to skip the journey. Because I think it's immersive and it's pretty damn cool. They don't believe in the brain. Every day they get the brain. Game is beautiful, like. There is a mod to make it rain all the time, like uh stop digging night blade runner, which I've considered. Like any other. Just bigger. 
Nah, no, man. Daytime. Not just any other city. Who needs daytime? You need constant the night. Acid rain. Adam Smasher. Acid rain. Legends are born here. That means the hot bar. I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. You're right. Is it just me or... Oh, you can do it. Man on their ass, taking us. Yeah, I think you're right in a way because... Um, Robocop's really cool. Running Man as well. Running Man has a future which is a pretty shitty and pretty average. It's not like it's not too superficial. I think even um, Total Recall kind of goes down that route as well. But it's Paul Verhoeven, so it's 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 understanding that it goes down those routes. Um, the Expanse kind of touches on that. The Expanse is really cool because it, it switches between the poor people and the rich people and the rich people have it so much better than the poor people and that's what it's going to be I mean there's no doubt in that's what it's going to be in 40 years time but um yeah Hello. I get you it's I don't it's... like it I want that you bit Scum! Hijo de puta! Fucking drive Jackie Come on feet! Can't keep her steady! Hold tight V! Got you, assholes! B, aim for the driver! Chingado! Oh, yeah. <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. We can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. There's a new robot, really? But there's a new, new. So there's a new, new Robocop, because there's a new Robocop. Which was shit. It was fucking terrible. Like, really bad. I, I don't normally trash movies. Like, I kind of step out the way and just go, well, it's not for me. But the new Robocop movie was a fucking joke. Um, the new Total Recall was pretty damn bad, but it wasn't as bad as the new. Robocop. The new Robocop, I don't know what they were thinking when they made it. <laughs> Pardon me. The guy who made it's a really good director. I just think he had his hands tied, because when you look at his other body of work, it doesn't make sense. Ah, okay, yeah, I heard about that, actually. No, 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 you're right, Brian. Sorry, I didn't read it properly. Um, do you know what? Depending on who's making it, because it could be a hell of a game. I'm always like, I always live in the, in the idea that if Rockstar made everything, although Rockstar's not the old Rockstar now, and I always try to say that Rockstar's kind of dead, it isn't totally dead. Some of the ethos has lived on. Some. Not all of it. But if you have a rock star or even... Who else makes a really good open world game? Oh, crepes. It's like rock star, rock star, isn't it? Um, if... Anybody who makes a really good open world game, you're like, please make this. So, I don't know, because anything else, it's like, it needs to, Robocop needs to be an open world game with missions. It really does. It needs a progression where you start off as a beat cop, blah, 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 move on, move on, move on. You build up your armory as you go on, and then you face the big bad buddy in a showdown with all your armory. It wouldn't work any other way. In my opinion. Yeah, I don't... Well, Kathina, I don't even know if they understood what they were doing. That's the part. That's the thing. Now, whether it's Paul Verhoeven did a really good original version because... Listen, 
Paul Verhoeven movies are, are these really strange movies where you'll watch them and you'll go, what the fuck did I just watch? Like, really, what did I watch? And that, that can go from Robocop to Showgirls. But they're all good. They're not bad movies. Um, Starship Troopers is another one. Starship Troopers got away with it because, basically, he stuck pretty much to the original material and it, it worked because it's him and it's the original material. But, um... The new Robocop just didn't work. Neither did the new Total Recall. The new Total Recall was okay. It wasn't bad. But it just didn't... It didn't crack up to it. And The Running Man, the same... I just watched The Running Man in 4K the other day. Because I'm watching a few movies in 4K. And I was like... I was watching... Looking at how simplistic it was. Thinking how I felt about it when I was younger. And then I was like, you can't remake this movie. You can't. You'd have to add so much extra crap to make it sell that it would become muddled in what it is. There's a new Aliens prequel. Everybody, not Aliens, Predator prequel. Has everybody seen that as well? Um... Yeah, that might be an idea, Brian. Play through a whole process. They do something similar in Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption, so you always die at the end. So they could do something where you play through half the game as a regular cop, and then suddenly you get killed, pulled away from your family. I mean, that could that could really rouse some emotion in you. It's not a bad idea. Damn. Pulling out all the stops. What does the lockdown to for the Nerdist? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. You should giving me a chance. I'm waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through, but they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gun. Well, the war and terror thing, did everybody see uh, George Bush's speech the other day? Holy fucking shitballs. Seriously? The guy just admitted to it. I don't care. The Republicans are always going to play it down because they're Republicans, but jeez shitballs. The guy has a guilty conscience and he just admitted to it. If you haven't seen it, Go search uh, George Bush Iraq. Uh, how would you put it? Uh, what is the word when you say that you've done something? Whatever. But uh, yeah, go see it. Cause fuck shit balls. Unbelievable. The guy basically admits to the Iraq War was a was a joke. Right. I'm loyal. Well, yeah, because you don't know who the actors effects. are. I haven't actually checked mm -hmm. the actor. And unassuming. You get it. But your main actors in a video game, this is a sad part, in a video, if you're making a video game, you want your main actors to be pretty shitty. And the reason I say that is because you, you want to, you know, Red Dead, they find the right guy because that's Rockstar Games and that's the work they go through. Other companies, it's like, ah, oh, let's just find a guy. You want the guy to do it the cheapest. You know, they had the guy, the guy who plays Charles in Red Dead Redemption has parts in this game. You can hear it. Um, 
place a secondary guy. You don't want to. You don't want to hire the guy from Red Dead Redemption to play a major role because you're gonna have to pay him more. <laughs> It's the poor one lottery of video games. Come on! Ain't got all day! Check it out, V. We should go down. Get the hell out and shoot! You look like your average bust. This ain't your average badges. That's Max Tac. NCPD's Apex Predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gunk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. Didn't everybody know that? What's your name, Brian? I'm gonna ride with a Chucky. For the time being. made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Chill, V. Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. No, I have played it with a female. My corpo is a female on my Xbox. He might be right. Like I said, the male character, they might just come with the cheapest guy they could get. And they're like, all right, you'll do. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Hi, luego. Yeah, we get an attribute point and a perk point. Good stuff. So, got 655. So, I think I'm going to put it in intelligence at the moment. And then we're going to have a look what we've got. Pack meal increases capacity by 60, which slowly regenerates combat, Im increases max stamina, and reduces fall damage. So I'm going with Pack Mule for the time being. Reduces recoil. Shotguns like machine guns. Blah, 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 blah. Reduces reload. No. I'm guessing these are punches. Increases damage from strong hands. Okay. I mean, we may go down the street baller route, but we're going to go with Pack Mule, I think. Um, I think it gives us the best. It acquires a capacity of 60. Uh, 60 times 3 is 180, so this is going to give us 180 extra when we fill up and sell out. So, honestly, I think Pat Mule is an absolute must at this point. Oh, the Iraq War, okay. Yeah, well, uh, everybody knows it, doesn't know it, feels it, doesn't feel it, but... But it's his admittance to it. It's really... I mean, it's an open admittance. Don't care. People can try and cover it. They'll say he's old. Yeah, he says I'm 75. Bug. Like, he says it to get out of it. has something you could probably use. Zip in your deets. Praise be to me. But it isn't that anything that people don't know. host of the chip program. Which for most of the use of Mac and Jesus. Uh, again, we have to make sure there's nothing nickable. Thievable. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go in the inventory to look at what we have. See, in the new version, or with the, the mod that you can get, you can have it so you have the stats from the hat, but you don't see the hat. Now, I don't know if I agree with that, because isn't that the whole point?
Right, so this is a case of all of those are throwable. Again, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull everything I can from these for the time being because I really want to have the best... I don't want shorts. And then the boots, I'm guessing these are not so good. Right, okay. I'll take the hat for the moment. Right, okay, so we can start with these things. Chim cham chum. So now we've got everything from the stash, we're going to go with what we can go with. So we'll take a 9.9, 9.9, go with what we can go with at the moment, but okay we're going to go with it because it's blue. Uh, t-shirt, the t-shirt it's max level because it doesn't matter. So everything's 9.9, .9, but this is blue and this is blue, so we have to go with something blue. It's a bit more colourful. Right. Trousers. Something a little bit better, but not, not the not the most useful. And then that, and um, we'll take that. Okay, so... Mm, looking a little bit less nomad, maybe a little bit more night city. I don't know. Maybe slightly more night city. Okay, so we have stuff on our new release brain dances. You can take a sleep, but we don't need sleep right now. We actually don't. I'll check the messages in a second, people. I'll just have to... Whoops. You have to sleep for the next part. Uh, you might be right, because people do prefer female characters in gaming. You might be serious, you might be, because uh, I was reading about it with another game where oh, they were trying to talk about sexism in gaming and they were saying like, no matter. most Have people want up? to create a strong female. You might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. Dunno, uh, neurovirus or... I need to see Vic, let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Right, so you can see sell some extra things. I'm going to sell that katana. I don't need it. Uh, we're going to sell most of this stuff. I don't know about the max up because I can't remember which one. Uh, that's the one I've got equipped. But all of these, they give money. So you have to sell them. You can use them. But in general, they, they really don't give anything extra. So you, that's the one equipped. Uh... That's five euros. I don't often throw grenades because they're like worth a euro each and I don't think they're worth it. 
all of these are worth three dollars, so um, they're not worth a lot of money. But they're worth something. And Swifty gets another hundred. NCPD! Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! We know you're so in there! So he's got an eviction notice. You can see that up there. Soak in that sun while you can. moving in. Prepare for cooler conditions as we head into the weekend. But nothing's been said, so... I'm gonna go down. Interesting going down the bottom part. I don't think I've ever seen it in game. I really wish they'd worked on the interior. I think the interiors of these mega towers could have been like the, the, the be all and end all. I, I really think they could have. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. Uh, what we're saying? I'm not well, reading about the chat, so I apologize. Let me have a look. Uh... Yeah, I think they could have done more with the brain dance as well. They could have hidden things inside the brain dance. Yeah, I've seen Strange Days, I know it. Um, I like Strange Days, actually. Who is it? It's the guy in... Um, get his name. Ran... It's one of the Fines brothers. He's in Red Dragon. I know which one you mean, Strange Days, yeah. And the hard difficulty, I'm always like, I don't want to play in any game, eh? I don't want to play hard difficulty because the bad guy has extra armor. I want to play hard difficulty because the bad guy is going to outwit me. If you're just going to give him more armor and make him, like, ridiculously hard to kill, I'm not interested. There's no point for me. Now. Let's collect your gun. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Right, so it says collect your gun from Wilson. I'm guessing this. Okay. Uh, we could get some extra bits. Uh, let's have a look. Let's go into guns first. It says 384, okay. I've got 500. That's 5,000. Thanks a lot.
The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development... Yeah, I kind of have the same feeling. But with this playthrough, I want to play a bit different because I feel like all of the other bits have their place. Um, I did play a lot of stealth in my other stream and I think the stealth has a very important place because as long as you can afford it all the compute components to your body is super important. Man of the hour! <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. By the way, Mike picked most of my things. Let me finish this. <laughs> then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? No. Oh, but T Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust like me. Doing this. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a... Well, when I play Cathina I, I, in the carport, I always have a thing that once it goes loud, it goes loud. You, you can cheat around it and still use stealth, even though it's gone loud. But I'm always of the opinion, like, no, it's loud, it's loud, let's just go for it. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Stop. Rupert right Duck. Back. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. The MSD. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. This is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up. 
eyes have resisted the temptation to peek through them? Cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life, for them it is all mere- Who's watching and giving a damn? I'd have half the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. Don't hate the nails, hate the game. But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why, the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri! In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses by putting our laughter, our tears, on full display! Look! Like in that show! Quick, get next to him! I'll snap a still of you arresting him for revealing government secrets! Open your mind before it is too late! Will I die when she sees this? Like, this is Max Nova. I just can't. Where did Chucky come from? Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little kitchen up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. I'm not Last really a mysticist myself, yeah. but uh, it is an, Im an important part of it. Absolutely. Chair, please. It Sit down it. and relax. Karoshi Optics. Best I've got and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now? I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand.
You peruse and choose while I scan. And see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Yeah, well, it's new book case, but it's better for you. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I don't think I changed my optics in the game. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right he does here. Charge. He does charge a lot. I remember. He charged Just like that. Thanks. For it afterwards. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. One of the things I'm very pleased by is the stream hasn't gone down. Just checking the... Oh yeah, it's at low... It's 20 degrees off what it was before. So, we're in the good. The 54 before it was 68. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. But we're lay way behold the threshold now. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust. But first time's really the charm. <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour.
Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Oh, but you're the one watching that MMA. Watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? 
Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Uh, Mr. V? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Alright, Katina, see you good night. I'm I'm not far behind you to be honest, that's why I missed that last part, because I'm drifting off to the I'm drifting to the arena of the well. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see? Convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat-out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when. Because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, aka Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you.
One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Gotta go quiet after. Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. Alright, so we've got one level up and one. And so we're gonna level five, six. to want to check our pro cred but to me it feels more like he tangled us up with maelstrom and militech there's this combat bot military prototype maelstrom clept it then dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management i right heard about that royce versus brick hostile takeover that sums it up dex wants us talking to royce gave the deets of some militech agent too but i don't know how much help she stands to be <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Right, people. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, street good? No. No matter. The heist. Okay, 90 percent done. Okay, people, have a really good night. Thanks everybody for dropping in. I might actually normally last a little bit longer than this, but I was a little, a little bit tired. And I have to call it a night, so thanks everybody for joining the stream, and I'll say 9-7.